Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew from AR Media. Today I want to do a quick video on a new player that Pioneer announced. This is going to be the first 4K Blu-ray player to come to the PC. Now let's check it out. So Pioneer Japan released today the first 4K Blu-ray player for PC. Now there are some requirements to get this 4K Blu-ray player to fully work with your PC, but it's super exciting to see this come to the market. I've really been wanting to rip my 4K Blu-rays to my computer and have a way to watch them with the HDR included as well. And this is a fantastic option. I'm so happy that it's coming to market so soon. Now let's look at the specs you're gonna need to run one of these Blu-ray drives. So first of all, you're gonna need Intel processor running KB Lake. So that's the most recent i7 or i5. So you're gonna need a pretty updated processor for this, but that's to be expected when you're playing 4K media. You're gonna need an HDMI 2.0A port for the HDR data, as well as an HDMI 2.2 complacent port on either your graphics card or your motherboard. So you're definitely gonna to have to look into that before you purchase. This is definitely gonna be something you need in order to get the HDR and the 4K pass through. And last but not least, you're gonna need either a TV or a monitor that supports 4K HDR. Now, a lot of monitors have been coming out recently that do support 4K HDR. They are relatively expensive, but you could also use a 4K uh, TV with HDR as your display device. And most of the time, I'm assuming with a Blu-ray player, you're gonna be watching movies, so you probably want it hooked up to a TV. Pioneer hasn't announced any pricing for this player yet, but they said it should ship early 2017, and it comes linked with the CyberLink Blu-ray software, this allows it to play 4K Blu-rays right off the bat without spending any extra money on Blu-ray players. Also, you're gonna need to be on Windows 10 for this. I know that may be a shock for some of you guys. I know some people are pretty hesitant to do the upgrade. Overall, I've been running Windows 10 since launch and have no problem with it, but you will need Windows 10 to run this Blu-ray player as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you got something out of this video and I hope you're as excited as I am to see this player come to the market. Anyway, guys, have a good night, and please throw me a thumbs up if you liked the video at all, and please subscribe down below for more content in the future. Have a good night, guys. Hit me with your